everybody. Welcome to On The Paint Table. This is my weekly show where you can see what I've been working on, what got done, and what's coming up. So this week, um, we finished up some more 40K stuff for my um, army for the 40K Classic, which is the upcoming uh, tournament here in Mississauga, Ontario on the 14th of October. I'm going to the singles, and I'll be televising it as well. You'll be able to see it all live. Um, on my channel and then of course I'm also working on some stuff for Eden by Happy Games Factory a French company uh, making a cool little micro skirmish post-apocalyptic game I got some scenery done for it and some of my first convoy models too, the post-apocalyptic survivors I worked on my Primaris Marines I got some base coats down on them uh, I got some stuff down on my giant robots as well you'll see them in the upcoming queue and I gotta build three Hydras I got two variations of my lists um, I'm gonna try out before the tournament and one of them is Lots of tanks. So we'll show you what's uh, been done and we'll show you what's coming up. Let's take a look at the paint table. So here's the painted pile for this week. Um, first things first, some 40K stuff. I finished a Master of Ordnance uh, for the Imperial Guard. Little artillery chief there. Held some reroll ones with the artillery section uh, to hit, which is pretty nice. And then a Primaris Psyker. Um, I've had this model for a long time. Actually, I'm stealing this idea, and it's a really cool idea for guard players uh, from Chris Salmon and his guard army, where he puts all his characters on 30 mil bases, just so like visually they kind of stand out. And I like that a lot, actually. So space frame bases for the big guys. Um, he's actually an elite choice. He's a character, but he's not like an HQ choice, so he's going to have a smaller base instead, much like my um, Astropath is on a small base. But then the bigger HQ guys get a bigger base, and they just kind of pop that way. Um, which I like because I can visually identify them and, and know where they are. Owen would say, of course, that that's a bad idea because then people forget they're there because they mix into the guardsmen. But I'm I'm more doing it for me than for good game stuff. <laughs> uh, and then over here we've got my Eden convoy. Um, these are the first uh, five guys. They've all got names. I can't remember all their names to be honest with you. I think um, it's Earnhardt is the guy with the hammer there. Siegfried I think is the dude with the skull. Uh, Heinrich in the middle here with the big buzz blade and the knife and the pickle hobbin helmet and then there's Otto with his cool water tattoos and the little guy's name I just totally forget but I assume it's feral kid from Mad Max um, he's got the metal boomerang so those are um, my first five this is more than 100 points which is the standard game size playing 100 um, it's 100 to 200 but 100 is the, the size recommended in the rulebook um, as these guys are like 20 to 30 points each I think uh, Heinrich there and Otto are both 30 uh, Earnhardt, I think, is 25, Siegfried is 20, and I think the um, Boomerang Kid is like 15 or 10 or something like that. So it's, it adds up pretty fast, uh, and you get a, a sizable force. This is remnants of the starter set for the convoy, plus some additional models. Um, I'm trying to paint through my old stuff before I start painting the new stuff, because i got some new stuff for Eden too. And here is the scenery pack from Happy Games Factory for Eden. Uh, and these guys over here are the um, the six pieces that actually come in one of the booster packs. And this is the first time I've ever painted some of the Eden train. Uh, it's all one piece resin cast. I painted with my airbrush um, and then just some like creative dry brushing and some washes and stuff like that. Just throwing down some like thin down oranges and browns. Um, this will work great of course for Eden. It's a micro skirmish. It's played on a um, 60 by 60 centimeter mat, which is uh, two feet by two feet for those of us using imperial measurements. Um, and, uh, and this is just some sort of like board clutter. So you got some barricades, some ruins, some tire piles. Um, I'll augment this with my other stuff, but it worked great for any post apocalypse game. Some like this is not a test or um, the upcoming Fallout skirmish game as well. So lots of options there. Great little booster pack. All comes in one box um, to augment my stuff. So there it is, seven models uh, this week plus six pieces of train. Not a bad addition to my painted pile. And here's some of the upcoming stuff I built on my Primaris Marines and got them undercoated in green. I'll let you guess the chapter. Um, and then got my Primaris Librarian uh, assembled too and a lieutenant in the back there. So this is basically a patrol. Uh, it's two troops and two HQs to, to get me started. Um, this is more like a for fun thing. I want to paint my Primaris stuff and actually build and play an army with them out of the starter set. Uh, but this is like aside from my tournament list. And then this is the first of the stuff for my tournament list. Um, other variant that's not Hydras, which is all Stormtroopers or Scions actually. Uh, it's a five man team with two plasma guns and a sergeant and a Tempester Prime with his Rod of Command for two orders per turn and his little dagger and cloak and stuff too. He's a cool model. I just got them airbrushed. Um, they're going to be in basically the same library as these guys. So metal like plates basically and then like a burgundy and brown heraldry because I want them to kind of fit as sacristans or um, naval security for my my rogue trader, which is what Heist Metallum's hanging out with. Uh, and then I've got some bots. These are the ISC for um, Eden. These are the big robots. So the ISC is the International Scientific Community. Creates this AI to survive the apocalypse called Noah. Um, and it's like a couple hundred years later and it's robots are just out trying to basically save humanity by integrating them with a personal society or a perfect society, which means slaves for robots. That's just code for robot slaves. Uh, so I have a bunch, I have the, the great Amio, 
Um, the, I can't remember all the names, <laughs> to be honest with you. Big robot in charge, he's a controller. Uh, three little robots, and they are um, the sort of like the basic fighters, uh, the drone dudes that fight for the big guy. Uh, and they're what's basically my second faction. So I've also got the new box, started for ISC. Uh, and they will sort of the International Scientific Council. And what's neat about them, so they have all this sort of like Japanese theme to them because they're, they're all started, the IC started by the Kyoto Accord. So that's the big environmental protection thing, trying to protect the earth and Eden being the end of the world through all kinds of natural and man-made disasters. Um, these robots are kind of like the remnants of it. And I got three Hydras to build. Hydra, 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 Hail Hydra. Um, that's my Spearhead plus Super Heavy Lord of War detachment for my tournament list option. Uh, and it's... Um, it's pretty good. I like it. I kind of like it more than the Scions. Because I get three tanks that can shoot without any line of sight, they can hit it hard on the board, that roll a lot of dice and help me deal with big crowds. Because my tanks, my, my knights don't do so well against crowds, they do well against uh, hard multi wound targets, not so well against little targets. And this allows me to just shell them into oblivion. So the Spearhead is um, a. What is it? It's a Primera Psyker, a. Yeah, because I only need one HQ. It's a primary Psyker and then three heavies, which is the three Hydras. And then I've got two Elites, which is, I think, an Astropath and a Kalexus Assassin. No, it's a Kalexus Assassin and a um, Ordnance, the Master of Ordnance, the uh, Ordnance Officer. And then I think I also fit in something else. But yeah, I know, it basically trades tanks for Scions, which is kind of what you guys talked about as well. Because uh, then I just need to paint these three models and my 2000 points is done. So you go another on the paint table on the books, finishing off some stuff for Eden to bring a new game to the channel, working on some more 40K stuff for the 40K Classic and my 40K games. Um, and yeah, that's it. So there's this week's progress. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Next week, you're going to see my uh, blacksmiths get done for Guild Ball because I'm playing a uh, game against Nathan. And I think that's probably my big project for next week. I'm going to try and get those hydras done as well. I also want to try, I actually want to get everything else done for Eden so that we can give it a go. So I'll probably paint the ISC too. Uh, Owen's got the Dante's Angels starter. So he's gonna be painting that up with some biker gang stuff. Um, and this means that I'll have two armies I can alternate back and forth playing with. Um, Adam from Greenleaf Train has the Jokers for that egg game as well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Tune in tomorrow for Witches Wonders. Um, until next time I'm Ash, have a great I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. My live shows are on Mondays at 2 p.m. Eastern time, uh, typically, unless I notify otherwise. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible, uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future, who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and, of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.